Some people say that eliminating meat from the diet will make your diet so much healthier. Is it a big deal to cut out animal protein from your diet? It is a big deal to cut out animal protein from your diet. Eliminating meat from your diet and making no other changes really isn't a recipe for a healthy diet. Meat is really important in providing several essential nutrients to your diet that's pretty hard to make up with lots of different vegetable or fruit sources. So can you be a vegetarian and have a healthy diet? Of course. There are lots of ways to have a very healthy diet that doesn't include animal products, but there are also lots of ways to have a healthy diet that does include animal products. Well, are we eating too much meat now? We're actually not eating too much meat. So the USDA, the federal government, puts out guidelines for how much uh, of different food groups that we should consume. And the recommendation is that we consume between five and seven ounces from the protein group, which would include meat. And actually, the average American consumes about six ounces. So they're, they're really right on where they're supposed to be. So what are the benefits of eating meat, especially for like children or the elderly? And so one of the most important nutrients that we get from meat is protein. Protein is so important for maintaining our weight, maintaining our muscle mass. Protein is really important for helping us feel full and feel satisfied after we've eaten. And there's actually good data that would indicate that protein is really important for young children in their brain development and helping them learn. And so the protein which is provided by meat is really important for maintaining a healthy diet. Can you get that protein from another source like beans? Is that as good? It isn't as good. While you can get protein from different plant sources, one of the things that's important about animal proteins is we consider it to be a complete protein or an ideal protein. And what that means is protein is made up of amino acids. Those are the building blocks of proteins. And the amino acids in animal proteins are very similar to the amino acids in the proteins in our body. And so when we eat animal proteins, we're providing our bodies with the amino acids that our bodies need to be healthy. Well, what are some of the differences in the nutrition that you get from beef, pork, lamb, poultry? Are they different or are they the same? There are small differences between beef, pork, lamb, and poultry when we talk about things like the vitamins and the minerals, the iron and the zinc. But when we talk about protein, Protein from animal sources is very similar between all the different animal proteins, whether that be meat or even milk and eggs. I hear a lot of talk about satisfaction and meat being satisfying. Why is that so important? Well, I think for a lot of us, when we're trying to maintain our weight, one of the things that's really hard when you're trying to diet or perhaps cut back on the amount of food you eat is that you're always hungry. And so, if you can consume meat or consume protein at a meal, it helps you stay fuller and feel satisfied for longer, which is really important in maintaining weight and having a healthy diet. So what's your message to consumers in general about meat and poultry as part of their diet? Meat and poultry can play a really important role in the diet for providing protein, uh, for providing certain vitamins and minerals, things like iron and zinc. And actually, the iron and zinc in meat is much more easily absorbed by our bodies than the iron and zinc which is present in plant foods. And so meat is a very important part of a healthy diet. It's not essential. There are ways to have a healthy diet without it. But for most of us, the easiest way for us to have a healthy diet is to consume the right amount of lean meat.